Hello everyone, I'm Reza Tangestani and in this video I'm gonna create a gold locking input model for additive manufacturing and welding process. I already created the model for additive manufacturing and welding process in uh, that you can watch that but uh, and here in here I'm just only change the heat input. So I'm not gonna give you a lot of details, so I'm gonna go straight to the model. As you can see, this is the geometry that we used last time. Uh, this is the gold lock heat input. From the Abacus documentation, you can find this uh, geometry. It's all explained there. This is the equation. The gold lock heat input is a combination of two ellipsoidal geometry. Each ellipsoid needs a equation, a front and rear part. The only difference between these two is the length of the loop so it is uh, different for rear and the front part. So the coefficients f r and f r f f and c f and c r uh, c r are different. These are the coefficients that we're gonna use in this model, and based on this equation, we're gonna have this coefficient for f r and f r. And then we use the same constants, uh, same material properties for this model and after that by creating the model we're gonna see the results similar to the previous model but the only difference is the geometry of the heat input we're gonna use the same model that, that we created last time so I'm not gonna go to the explain explaining the Python code is all you created a video for it so I'm just not gonna open this one Here's the model. Uh, the only difference between the gold leg and the Gaussian uh, 2D Gaussian heat input is that uh, in the modeling is that you need to change the the load. In 2D it was surface, but in here you need to create it the body heat flux. So I'm going to delete this one and I'm going to create the body heat flux heat input. I'm going to select the whole geometry, the user defined, and put the value one. After that you're gonna we are ready for going to the subroutine. We're gonna create the job, just write input and save the model. It's not necessary to save the model. In here, we're gonna open the, the subroutine file. The subroutine file is uh, from the Gaussian. The only ch changes that we need to do is the adding some coefficients. So I'm gonna create a few lines and put those in here. As you can see, these are the coefficient, the coefficient that we explained. And next, we need to change the heat input model. So I'm gonna select this, uh, replace it with a uh, gold heat input model. To explain it, just uh, this is the equation, and uh, the front, the this equation is for the front, uh, rear part, and this part is for the front. As you can see, it says if the Gaussian nodes in the elements are in uh, back of the center point, it is sh it should follow the real equation. As you can see, the coefficients C R and F R in this equation. But if they are in front of the center point, they should follow this equation, which the you can see C F and F F. Okay, I'm gonna save the model. In here, I need to run the model now. I already explained it, you need to press uh, shift and uh, uh, right click, uh, and then abacus user b flux dot for job job one dot imp interactive. As you can see, the job is completed. Uh, now we can check the results. Okay, here it is. Um, this is for HFL. Now we change it to NT11, which is the nodal temperature. Uh, as you can see, the heat input on the geometry. If I press it, you can see it's additive material and the heat input is moving. Uh, for this uh, video, you need to watch the, our video for additive manufacturing and welding processes, and you only need to do a few modifications on it. I think I cover everything. You might also like to watch our other videos. If you have any problem, please let us know so we can help you with. I hope you enjoyed with this video. Until the next video, bye.